Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today, due to requests from decorators just like you, we are talking heavyweight t-shirts. Incredibly popular for a variety of markets, heavyweight tees are a staple for many apparel decorators. For that low cost and high margin, and even some fashion forward apparel styles these days. So, today we're taking a look at the top three wholesale heavyweight t-shirts that will fit into anyone's budget and are an awesome canvas to print on, especially with a heat press and heat transfers. So today, we're gonna try on all these t-shirts, show you how they fit, and go over the features of each style. Are you ready? Let's get right to it. I will say, heavyweight tees have always been one of my favorite styles of t-shirts. The more boxy or generic construction actually fits my body really well. And while I do love a classic uh, Next Level 3600 or like a Bella 3001, sometimes a heavyweight tee is right for the project and right for your customer's budget. Now one thing that all heavyweight tees have in common is, you guessed it, heavyweight fabric. Tipping the scales at six ounces or heavier, these t-shirts have a much thicker fabric than those more fashion forward fits that I mentioned. Compare a heavyweight 6.1 ounce fabric uh, to a 4.3 ounce, say with that next level 3600, and you'll notice a huge difference. Now to get a little nerdy, those fabric weights are actually measured from how much one square yard of fabric weighs for an easily measurable standard from uh, manufacturer to manufacturer. Now, another common characteristic for most heavyweight tees is a tubular construction, which means no side seams. This is not a hard and fast rule, but the vast majority of heavyweight tees on the market are a tubular construction. Now, the garment here is woven essentially in a continuous tube that's cut down into cylinders and then gets its sleeves and neck hole sewn on. Now, this gives these t-shirts a more classic fit with uniform sizing from the chest all the way down to the bottom hem. And these tees will have a much more relaxed fit, perfect for that oversized t-shirt that's really popular right now and has been for a little while. Now, with that being said, you'll find that this style of t-shirt is very popular for a few key markets. Now, number one, we gotta mention it, streetwear. Ever since I've been in the printing industry, streetwear has remained a constant and even back in the early 2000s, teens, the All Style 1301 really reigned supreme. Not only was it a classic fit, but it offered a price point that maximized both the print shop and the brand's profit margins, with a lot of room for markup in both of those areas. Seriously, some of the biggest names in custom merch were printing on one of the absolute cheapest t-shirts possible. And with custom relabeling, no one ever knew. Now with the heavier construction, the t-shirt has a slightly higher perceived value when it doesn't have a label in it for just being more of a basic fit and cut. Now the next market is definitely workwear and uniforms. Known for its durable quality, heavyweight tees are commonly seen on the job site, kitchens, or wherever there's some heavy wear and tear. Not only are they inexpensive to replace, but they hold up well to repeated washing and wear. Now, of course, event merchandise and volunteer wear is gonna make this list too. Due to the low cost of the blank and the wide availability with stocked warehouses, you'll find these types of tees just about everywhere. Now, similar to merchant music, higher end art and design brands will choose heavyweight tees for the printing surface. Thick fabric helps provide the canvas for intricate artwork, large areas of ink coverage, and even thin lines. Now, of course, with a low cost, promotional products and swag is one of the most common uses for these t-shirts, maximizing the return on investment and becoming an instant favorite for those receiving the merch. Enough talk, let's dive into each style. Of course, we will break it down in our good, better, and best categories according to price just like we did in our past blank apparel reviews that we'll link down below. Just like how Starbucks offers three sizes of drinks for three different price points, you should too. Not only 
Can it help you look like the apparel decorating pro that you are and help your customers find the best option for their budget, but it can also help you upsell to a more profitable job. First up on the list, we're going to start with the lowest cost, but don't let that fool you, because here we have the American Apparel 1301 Heavyweight Unisex T-Shirt. Now I name dropped the All Style 1301 just a little bit earlier and talked about how popular it was. And after All Style and American Apparel were both acquired by Gildan, the 1301 merged over to American Apparel. Now it's a very similar fit and feel to the original All Style 1301. However, this version feels like it has more American Apparel sleeves on it. So they're a little bit more fitted, perfectly blending the loose fit through the body with a more fashion forward sleeve for a premium feeling and fitting t-shirt. Clocking in right around the $3 range, this six ounce shirt has 18 singles and is constructed of 100% US cotton with 14 available colorways. Now worth a note, some Heather and Ash blends range from 50-50 to 99-1 cotton poly blend content. Now equipped with a tearaway label, it's simple and quick to relabel and make your own. Here, we do have a tubular body with a wonderful relaxed fit. Now, I've always been a fan of the 1301 and clocking in at the right price, this new American Apparel 1301 is still very much at the top of my list. It does have a very basic fit and feel. And here you could see I'm wearing a size large, which is uh, kind of right where I normally fit. With a little bit of washing, you may notice some shrinking in this, so you could size up. It moves, fits, and feels great. It's a standard t-shirt, and I just like the way it feels. It's pretty good. Thumbs up. Now, it does have a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder neck taping, which does give it a little bit more premium feel and construction, at least on the inside of the tee. And here, you could see that I'm wearing an extra large. So this is kind of exactly how an extra large looks on me unwashed. This will shrink just slightly with that 100% cotton content. So when this washes up, it's gonna fit a little bit tighter than this one does. But as you can see, sized one size up, it definitely gives you that uh, more relaxed or oversized look that's really trending right now. Next up, stepping into our $4 range is the super popular Hanes 5180 Beefy Tee. Now this 100% ring spun cotton t-shirt clocks in at identical weight at six ounces and the same 18 singles or thread count. I will say that the ring spun cotton gives it a much tighter weave, or at least it feels like it for being the same 18 singles. And it feels really nice and premium for only a dollar more. Now in an expanded color set of 22 different colors, this 100% US grown cotton, that is ring spun, nails this basic fit. Now you'll find the same 99-1 ash blends down to a 60-40 cotton poly blend for the Oxford and charcoal heather option colors here too. Now with the tearaway label, relabeling is also quick and easy to make this tee your own with that inside neck print. I will say though that you might be able to notice right off the sleeves on this large size, it hangs off just a little bit more than where the American Apparel did. So it feels much more basic in the sleeves and it might be great for some people, especially that workwear or streetwear that's gonna give it that little bit more oversized look, but it does fit the same, uh, maybe a little bit tighter through the body than the 1301 did. So uh, depending on what your customer's needs are, I definitely feel like this is much more of a kind of more basic standard t-shirt blank and cut rather than the 1301 that kind of had that little extra something special with the sleeves. Now here I am wearing size large, so we'll compare all both size larges and extra larges if you're looking for something more in that oversized look or if you want it to be fitted again tubular construction here, so no side seams, and a nice straight and relaxed fit from the chest all the way down through that bottom hem. It does really feel like a great printing surface, but you won't have as much of that fabric texture that you get with that little bit wider of the weave. Now here in the extra large style, there's a pretty large gap in sizing 
uh, from that large to extra large. I feel like this one is a little bit larger on me than that extra large was of the 1301. Now, of course, with a little bit of shrinking, it's gonna bring it back on in, but I feel like these sleeves are a little wide and big, and you can see that they kind of really fall off the shoulder and down the arm. Now, some people are specifically looking for a fit like that, or if there's a lot of movement uh, in the trades or working in a kitchen, any employee uniforms, this might be a good fit. But is it worth the dollar more up from the 1301? That's for you to decide. Lastly, stepping up into the five to six dollar blank range is one of the most popular tees right now, and that's the Comfort Colors 1717 Heavyweight Ring Spun Cotton Tee. In a huge selection of 54 colors, the 6.1 ounce 100% ring spun cotton tee is soft washed and garment dyed for that vintage favorite lived in feel from the second that you put it on. I will say, as soon as I put this tee on for the first time, and even right here, right now, today, fell in love with it. With a twill inside label and real twill neck taping, it does have that upgraded look. However, it's not one that you're necessarily going to want to remove and relabel with that woven inside tag. You will need a seam ripper and a sewing machine to stitch it back up. Now with premium double stitching on the sleeves, and the bottom hems, it truly is a nice elevated heavyweight style that feels and looks great. Now I will say, even for a tubular construction like all of our other tees, I do feel like this one is brought in a little bit tighter on the chest. So it does have kind of a fashion forward fit, at least here in this large sizing. The fabric feels great and almost with how soft it is, feels a little bit thinner even though it actually is 0.1 ounces heavier than any other shirt that we've worn here today. I do really like the fit. It feels very comfortable. And with that good soft feel to it, you'll notice minimal shrinking after you launder it, which is great for those prints. Here in the extra large style, looks and feels real roomy and real great. One thing that I noticed too is that these sleeves, even for being a lot roomier in the body, a lot roomier in the chest, is that these sleeves don't have that, uh, that drape down the outside of the arm. They hug the arm while still providing plenty of room for moving and stretching. So you could see that that upgrade in price really brings some upgrades to the fit of this shirt. And it feels much better sized in extra large size than almost any other tee that we had here. Although, I don't know, looking back at this, I might like that 1301 fit in the extra large a little bit better than this one. However, this is still really great. I love the way the seams fit. And with all of the actual taping and double stitching, it does feel like a really nice premium heavyweight tee. Do you have a go-to heavyweight tee that's your favorite? Want to see something we missed in this video or a completely different style of apparel? Let us know down in the comments section below. We always love to keep the conversation going with the apparel decorating community. Want to see us print these t-shirts that I put on here today? Well, make sure you follow us over on TikTok and Instagram too, where we'll be posting videos of us actually putting ink on these beautiful cotton t-shirts. As always, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the Transfer Express YouTube page right here. Stay up to date on all of the helpful t-shirt printing tips, tricks, inspiration, and education that we're dropping every single week. But until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing.